Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on the notification if you want to see more video. Welcome back everyone. Today I am going to make a comparison between Armolite AR18 compared to M16, Armolite M16. Yeah, um, Armolite M16. Okay, so let's begin. So yeah, this is a uh, Arma Light AR18 as you can see here this is how it looks now turn it into plastic and then click and hide now uh, parts name okay slow 50 so first let's see it here okay remove this lower receiver upper receiver upper handguard upper handguard heat shield uh, lower handguard and lower handguard heat shield so this is how it looks inside okay so now let's fire it Okay, let's single fire. Let's fire it again. Okay, now let's review it. Review it. Okay. Let's remove this dust cover first as you can see here as you can see here you see the trigger and the hammer connected here so when you pull the trigger it will release the hammer and hitting the firing pin I think the difference in the firing pin there is supposed to be another part here like a, a another sh a sh a shape like this shape over here in M16 you can see it in the in the version I will review M16 after this so you can see it's, fire. it's firing and then the gas go here like that so let's, let's move it back okay here the gas here the gas there okay so this operating route is is pushing the bolt carrier back like that okay just like that okay now let's uh, go to full auto Okay. I'm sorry my mouse suddenly release itself so this is safe uh, not safe this is full auto so you can see here when full auto happen it's, it's uh, very similar like AK probably the safety mechanism here and not the safety the selector uh, the selector the select fire in the AR-18 I think it's similar to 
to AK47. Okay, so let's remove this part. So as you can see in the few seconds ago, that the safety is holding the sear down. Just like that. Okay, now let's fire it. Okay, if you if you see here, you see this auto sear. The auto sear is uh, very similar to M60 or AR platform, like M60, M16, uh, AR, R15, M4, any AR platform. It's similar here. The auto sear is different from AK, which is a uh, like the the in AK the firing the automatic firing was uh, auto sear was located here not back here okay so the auto sear have long lever in AK the auto sear have long lever that connected to the bolt carrier in AK but the 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 different in AR18 it similar to AR platform so the auto sear is back here not in front of here so let's see it again so you see firing first round and then second round okay the sear is being held by this safety pin so it, it, it will never uh, engage the hammer to stop it from firing in full auto so and you can see here this is how the auto sear work so like that when you firing first round uh, second round uh, first round yeah first round the bolt go back you see the hammer reset below the auto sear like that okay It's ready to hit the firing pin again until this happen, which is you disengage this hammer and auto sear. So this bolt sear lever, it will pull the uh, will disconnect the auto sear and hammer. It hitting the firing pin, the bolt firing. You got your you got you got a full auto. see full auto here the gas the gas system using a operating rod okay okay so that's that single fire and full auto in AR18 Now let's see safety. Okay, I'm wrong click. Okay, safety. In safety, it will, it will hold. Yeah. In safety, safety here, it will hold the sear and the trigger from moving. Yeah, it's like AK. Very similar to AK. It it uh, I bet AR18 is younger than AK so. They copy what works in AK. Okay, I I don't know for sure if they copy it or not. I'm I'm thinking it's similar to AK. Maybe maybe they copy it from FN4 NATO firearms, but that depends. I don't have the information on head like so. So yeah. Oh yeah, we almost forgot the the habit okay so this is magazine reloading magazine catch okay, okay safety off press the button magazine catch and then release the magazine yeah on the dead way
I I really wish uh, the developer uh, adding a br from Ronald br brn18 which is uh, modern modernized uh, modernized version of r18 from Ronel so it will be very cool to see that, uh, what what uh, like imagine if us us take this ar18 as a as, as a their uh, standard issue rather than m16 and then fast forward to today what what american standard issue rifle would, would look like imagine if they if america take a uh, Air 18 over M16. Maybe it's it gonna be like Brownell uh, BRN 18. Maybe I don't know. We can change the pass. Okay, so so yeah, that's it. We don't need accessories because 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 maybe maybe we should. Okay, I'm gonna because. AR18 have more accessories compared to M16 model in this video game, so maybe we just try it. Okay, so let's pick a teeny holding stock. Something that M16 cannot do. AR platform with the buffer stock, they cannot do. On the MCX, I don't know when MCX is gonna be available on this uh, on this game. There is I, I read the news that they have uh, two model upcoming. Two model uh, pistol and uh, Italian uh, rifle. So yeah, optic scope, top mounting of the optic scope. Okay, now M16. Okay, M16. Yeah, M16. Okay, this is how it look. The aircraft uh, uh, made from a uh, what aerospace quality aircraft uh, part or something like that. Aluminium alloy. I don't know. I just think uh, AR18 is better. It's not expert opinion. It's just me, video game uh, commentator. Okay, so this is the plastic look, and this is the part name, and then uh, slow fifty. Make it the the lower lower receiver. Upper receiver, butt stock, left hand guard, left heat shield insert, left heat shield insert, right hand guard. Okay, so, so this is how it looks. Okay, wait, this is the buffer stock. Okay, fire now. I'm sorry I'm gonna check it first okay we have we have uh, we have gas animation expanding gas animation so I'm gonna go back okay single fire Okay, I guess I was wrong about the firing mechanism that's similar to AK. 
because it maybe actually yeah, it's for sure actually from M16 the selector lever here triggering everything yeah so so basically it's almost the same with the R18 so let's fire in here okay so when you pu push the trigger disconnect the trigger will disconnect it from the hammer and releasing the, the hammer the hammer hitting the firing pin you see uh, the gas like the gas will go here okay so oh I was wrong again go here okay oh yeah okay so the gas is expanding between the bolt and the bolt carrier okay maybe we should cut over like this okay so there's a chamber here chamber here so there's the chamber here the, 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 between the bolt carrier and the bolt so when the gas get in it will expanding expanding here so So the gas will expand when push push back the bolt carrier because the bolt is still in lock position okay until until the the cam pin and the bolt start rotating by this cutout of the bolt carrier here so maybe to wait for gas pressure to go to go down a bit so you see the gas when the gas enter the bolt the chamber here between the bolt and the okay what the hell okay pardon me why okay so when the gas you see here the bolt didn't move until few seconds okay okay So the gas push the bolt forward to keep it uh, locked for a few seconds before uh, so the gas get in into this chamber and then it's expanding is push back the bolt carrier it push back the bolt carrier and push forward the bolt so it stay locked until until the pressure is empty like inside the barrel the pressure is lower and then and then the the bolt carrier will start tilting to unlock okay so something like that and then it go back and then the casing is ejected okay a single fire so we go back for, to here again okay why okay okay so when the hammer hitting firing pin it will go down to here and this connector will hold this hammer okay and then then you release the trigger this connector will disconnect it from the hammer and the trigger will catch the hammer okay you we'll catch it here okay it's back in position ready to fire again now in uh, full auto now this is very different because in full auto the auto series achieve full automatic by getting hit by the bolt carrier returning to position okay so it's different from the well, actually, it's the same. I think like the bolt. Yeah, the bolt. It's it's the same, but the the way they do it is different. Okay. Okay. So let's begin. Okay. 
be strife all out there. So like that. Yeah, it's 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 the same, but the the way they do it is different. Because in AR18, as we see before, they the AR18 have the long, like long, at a sear arm or something like that too. So the the hit was happen here to to release the auto sear from from the hammer. Okay. While in a M16 A1, the hit was happen here when the ball carrier hitting the auto sear to release the hammer to hit the firing pin again. Simple like that. Okay. Now, now, uh, okay. The, again, there's no. Is it, is it me or there's no safety here? But you guys know safety. So it's we push it forward. In safety, just like AR eighteen. Uh, Okay, just like in safety in AR18, you will hold this trigger and this connector from moving. Okay. Now, uh, wait, okay. Oh yeah, same like AR18. The, uh, the release button, magazine release button is on the on the right but the difference is the cutout for the magazine is not like in this position so it's not like uh, like air 18 like when you when you push the it's like a lever okay so when you push the lever it will disconnect it from the magazine in air 18 well here is like a Like, I don't know what to call it. Like you push it and then the magazine catch spring. Like magazine catch. Okay. So when you push it, it release. Okay. While in the AR18, it's more like a lever. So when you press, press it, it will... The... The different part will go up and then releasing the magazine the magazine also different in AR18 you need cut out small cut out here well M16 you need bigger cut out here okay so this is different okay accessory wrong button okay the, the bayonet that's it trigger guard nothing much Okay, so that's it. Thank you for watching. Now, uh, if you want to give donation, you know where to go to our Twitter. Uh, if you want to give donation in in crypto, you can go to our uh, to our Twitter. While if you want to give PayPal donation, you can see on our page description okay so that's it thank you for watching everyone i will see you in the next video bye bye